guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm alicia with sea star soap company on today's video it's going to be all about three different tips i'm going to give you to lower your cost of goods so if that's something that you're interested in stay tuned so first thing you want to do before you start these three steps is figure out how much it costs you to actually make a loaf of soap and what each bar costs you. A great place for you to start if you're not into the whole Excel thing. I absolutely despise using Excel. Excel sheets are very handy, yes, but there's a lot of math involved and you know what? Some days I just have brain fart and can't come up with equations. So a good place for you to go is soapguide.org. Soap Guide has many different resources. They also have this business tool that you can use. It's a cost of goods calculator. So you enter in your materials, the price of the materials, what it costs you, shipping, etc. So in the price calculator, first thing you want to do, you can add your product name. Um, how many bars do you get per batch? So in a loaf, I get 23 bars, and you could do this with anything. They have a selection where it says bars, bottles, jars, bags, boxes, units. So pretty much you could do bath bombs if you want, anything. Then I'm gonna go down and hit add raw ingredients. So this is where I'm gonna type in all my ingredients and get it laid out. If you are not doing this, you're, you're losing money and you're selling yourself short. Definitely get on here and see your cost of goods laid out. When I first started making soap, my cost for uh, my bars was high. It cost me $2.74 for a bar of soap. Whew, yeah, that is super high. And what's so great about the system that they have here is that they do that math for you. If you want to add in labor costs, and they tell you what your bar should wholesale cost at and retail at. And there's even a spot for you to um, put in for a loss. With that being my cost of goods, without any labor, they told me it wholesales for $6.86 and I should retail it at $13.71 too high. The first step I took to lowering my cost of goods was to have one supplier. Literally, I had a whole bunch of different vendors or suppliers I was buying from, which was costing me a lot of money. I didn't see it until I put it in. I changed all my supplier to one supplier, put in what it would cost me shipping the cost of goods, and that actually lowered my cost per bar to $2.41. A lot of people are like, well, that's not much of a difference. Every penny counts, right? I was able to go down to a retail price of $12.03. And this brings me to step two, buying in bulk. I know a lot of you are terrified of buying in bulk. You don't have the money. Buying in bulk, you can do it little by little and see the cost of your goods come down. So let's say you're buying 16 ounces of almond oil okay you can bump that up to a pound of almond oil and then seven pounds you can gradually do it as you grow your business with me i changed all my stuff when i ran out and i bought one material at a time so if i ran out of olive oil first i went from buying just a pound of olive oil to seven pounds of olive oil that changed my cost significantly. And I'll do that little by little with each item. Doing that brought my cost down to $1.79 a bar, which means that my suggested retail price was $8.95. Significant difference from the $13 I started with, right? Now, this brings me to step three. Change your recipe. I got a huge deal on shea butter. I got 55 pounds of shea butter for $85. It was insane. But 
the current recipe that I was using wasn't around shea butter, it was around olive oil. And olive oil was my most expensive oil in my soap recipe. So what I did was tweak my recipe to where it uses more of shea butter than olive oil. Tweaking your recipe, definitely run it through the soap calculator. Go to soapcalc.org, run it through there. Just as you're tweaking it with numbers, make sure it's good to go with soap calc. That's all I'm saying. After I did that, it took me maybe like an hour. I'm just adjusting numbers left and right. It's not easy, guys. Okay, you're going back and forth with price and actual product you can produce that is safe to use. I got my final bar cost down to 74 cents. It's insane. I can still sell my bars at the same price, but actually start paying myself. And that 74 cents does include all my extra additives like fragrance oil, calen clay. You guys, that is amazing. Now there are some soapers that have gotten their bars down to 42 cents a bar. I even heard a lady say 25 cents a bar. And that is the goal. That is my long-term goal in the future because I live in a duplex in military housing. I do not have any storage area where I can put barrels of oils or any products. So I'm not there. So you guys, if you take these three steps, very simple, lay out your costs. You can even do your future product costs if you want to see what you would actually pay and project future numbers if you want to. I just thought I'd do a quick little video, help you guys out with some tips because I was pretty proud of myself. Keep on soaping and you guys get your cost of products down so you can profit in the future. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.